like the other time i made mention of the type of pencil we use now this is the hb pencil i will use like i said the other time i said we have three type of pencils the hb pencil is purposely for making letterings we use the h pencil for construction that's the drawing then we use the uh, the big grip pencils for detailing now but i will use this pencil to do the work of construction and then outlining detailing now to set our paper like i said the other time we need to particularize i said we will be needing the paper tape the masking tape now i've cut part of it as a strip and it's placed here all i need to do is to get my razor blade after getting the razor blade i need to just mark it out on this you will have done that before you start your job at all now you can return the result blade now to set my paper like i've said the other time i'll be using the adjustable set square to make the work faster now i'll say that we we'll look at we we'll place our t-square with the stock at the left hand side sliding on the drawing board now our paper shouldn't be placed down like this probably leaving some space down now if i place if i place my t-square and i slide it over and over we will see that the space here and the space here is not the same now there may be the need for me to adjust the paper here using my hand to adjust it here then i will bring the t-square down a little bit I can use my adjustable set square to check the distance here and I think I'm almost good to go almost good to go now I can still check the alignment at the top the alignment at the top and bringing it down I need to check again using the same set square. Now I cannot pick just this to hold my paper at this corner and then at this other corner here. Then at this other corner here. Then at this corner here. After doing that, there may be the need for me to draw my borderline because I cannot commence any drawing without creating the boundary for my drawing. Now, I'm going to use 10 mm, which is one centimeter, which will be marked out at every point where that is needed. You can see this is one you can see it sorry let me make it should be 10 mm the same thing will be done here and then the same thing will be done at this edge also at this edge now I can draw my border lines now placing my t-square on the line that have been marked already you can see how faint the line is then I also do the same thing here I can do the same thing here instead of using the same square so that the work will be faster then the same thing will also be done here 
Now, since I've created my boundary, I can start with my drawing. Now, since this is not for presentation, this is just to explain. Actually, my type 2 block is supposed to be at this right and bottom corner. For A3, we have different type of uh, type 2 block, though we call it type 2 strip that we can use for the A3. We have the conventional one. But I know beginners use A4 drawing paper size and they are familiar with the 50 by 100 type 2 block. But I won't be going to that to just go straight to what we are to do today. We have some drawings in front of me that we want to draw. These are the drawings in front of me. We want to look at them one after the other. And we are drawing this in isometric projection. Now, it is advised or it is advisable that we should always begin our drawing from the bottom, not from the top, from the bottom. Like, I can pick any one of these ones first. The first thing I'll do is to draw an horizontal line. With a construction line, thin continuous line for that matter. Now, I need my adjustment square. I want to use that square. Instead of using this, instead of using the 30 degree set square, 30 degree by 60 degree set square, instead of using this, I will use the adjustment set square to make the work faster. And the first thing for me to get is my vertical line at a my reference point where I want to start the drawing. Now after drawing that, there is need for me to set this to my 30 degree, 60 degree angles. And you can see that is the uh, line, that red line is pointing to 30 degree, 60 degree point. So I will screw it. Now, don't forget in asymmetric drawing, we need three parameters. We need the vertical line that is representing the height. I also need two receding lines at an angle of 30 degrees. One representing the width, one representing the breadth, the width or the length, the width, which is the breadth, and then the other one representing the length. Now, if I'm to go for this first drawing that I have here, I may not have enough space to go here. So I want to go for this first one here. Now, this is a, 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 a cube. If you can see, we have 40, 40, 40. That's to say that this is made from a square. Cube is made from a square. That means all the lines here, either the height, the length, or the breadth, will be what? Will be drawn at what? 40 mm, which is 4 cm. Now, I'm going to measure after drawing at an angle of 30 degrees. I want to draw at an angle of 30 degrees to that point now. And my line will come out from that point. Which you can also do this way to turn this way to draw for the other line. Then you see the reason why I said it's not good to put your drawing paper down because your T-square may be getting outside the drawing table. Now this one will go this way. Now these are the three lines that are required as the basis for your drawing. Now you measure from here your 40 mm, 4 cm. You measure on this line, 40. You also measure on this one. Now let me make use of the compass from the drawing set. I'm using this compass from this drawing set to draw. Now all I have to do is to measure out my 40 mm on this. And this is 40. This is 40 centimeter. I will stay at this point. Mark with an arc. Mark this one also with an arc and mark this with an arc. After doing that, I'm going to establish two other lines. 
at this point and this point and this one will go up this one will go up now i've gotten let me just say this way that this is the bottom for this line and this is the top i've gotten the bottom for this i need to get the top i've gotten the bottom for this line also i need to get the top i will also you make sure that the radius is still four centimeter which is 40 mm you mark out at the top you mark out at the top now you may not need the adjustment cell square again if you want to use the uh the compass all you just have to do is to join from the top here to the top here and then you do the same thing here now we need to get the final point now and that is the use we can still make use of this you stay at this point draw an arc with the same radius and you come to this point draw an arc with the same radius to cut the previous arc where they meet will be the final point and which is this place and i cannot join from here to this point and from here to this point then from this point to that point now i'm through with what i'm to construct that's the cube with size 40 mm but then in technical drawing we always talk about graphics there may be the need for me to thicken out that's the essence of using the big grip pencils maybe 2d pencil but i will use this to do that I will take it out. I will outline the shape of And you can see that it's coming out bold. I use the same pencil throughout to do the job. And this is my cube. Now to make dimensions according to what we have here we have one here we have one here we have another one here so i'm going to draw this line out i'll make sure it aligns with that line then another one here i'll go out this way then this one will go out this way Thin continental line will be used there. Then I can draw around the figure. Then I will draw here also parallel to this side also. You can actually use the asymptotic square to do all these things I'm doing. And then, how do you show a arrow head? A cough, another cough, a cough, another cough. Join them and thicken them. A cough, another cough, a cough, another cough. 
a call of another call join them and shake a call of another call join them and shake and then see the way i will write my four and my zero my four and my zero then my four will also sit on this with my zero actually what we have done here is just we need to give it a title using grid line we will call it isometric projection of a cube Now what I've just done here, I can do it in free and sketch. We just need three pairs of lines, the vertical. One, two, three. Then there's another one that will go this way. One, two, three. And there's another one that will, another pair that will go this way. One, two, three. And if I taken it out, I can get my cube this is what i've just done this is what is expected for this drawing and i started with the cube because it's the simplest for one to do so we have the isometric projection of a cube with size 40 mm thank you god bless you